She does not want to come out. And get on the grooming table. Come. 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 Ah, there you go. Let's get this little piggy groomed. <laughs> So as I said in the previous vlog, I wanted to try and start my own story, which I got quite a lot of inspiration from our trip to the Grotte van Han. But it isn't easy guys, it really isn't. Every once in a while I have to take a break and I decided to pick up A Curse of Crows by Lauren de Droog, which is a Belgian author. So. I love the fact that she's writing in English because I'm trying to write a book in English as well, even though I speak Dutch. And then afterwards I went on a nice warm walk, it was really nice outside, so... And then we went to dinner to this amazing burger place, like... American style burgers is a really big thing here in Belgium, so... It was so good, but so much, obviously I couldn't finish as you guys can see. And the next day we went to Leuven. Me and my mother-in-law, we went to Leuven, which was a fun little trip.
we visited a few fun little stores that had like really fun cards now obviously if you don't understand dutch then you don't understand these cards um but they were like really hilarious except this one this was, was just cute um so yeah it was a really nice store they had lots of floral arrangement decorative things but also handmade jewelry and stuff uh, so yeah it was really pretty and I was actually fascinated by these cute little well doggies balloon doggies but a necklace form or charm form or keychain form so yeah and then obviously I had to go to Standard Boekhandel which is a bookstore in Belgium like the most famous one because in Leuven they have an underground uh, section which is basically only for young adults so Dutch and uh, Dutch and English books as well so it was really really cool like this entire basement was filled with books for young adults um, fantasy but also other books they also had manga which I thought was really interesting because I obviously don't read manga but I did like that they did have the option here so yeah enjoy this clip now i tried filming but as you can see the lighting was really bad you can constantly see my shadow so that really did suck but other than that it was an amazing store um i was actually interested in quite a few books but obviously i couldn't buy them all because i have an ever-growing tbr currently containing about i don't know 20 books or something so yeah but here you can see a, a little bit of a snippet of all the books they had. This was like so pretty on the table, but I've never read any of these books. So, this was a little lounge shack, lounge sh I cannot say that word, section. Yeah, lounge, sh sh you see, I can say it. Um, but they had multiple places where you could just randomly sit and read. This was a manga section, as you can see don't know if any of these are good but yeah they had some cards as well with cats on them I thought these were cute even though I'm more of a dark person I still thought these were amazingly cute and like some markers and all that stuff and then this amazing Harry Potter section and then a few books that I thought were really interesting I almost bought this book, almost did, but last minutely I decided to take another one. This was also very interesting. This was also one that I almost picked up, but I ended up with two other books. And then obviously some sightseeing, so enjoy the rest of these clips. <laughs> 